today we are going to talk about Oracle Data Transforms and how to handle incremental loads with, with this tool. Oracle Data Transforms is a built-in uh, ETL tool for autonomous database. You can check the previous video that we that we did with the uh, introduction and demo about, about this tool and how you can use it. So please check the video. Uh, so as, as I was saying today, uh, today's session is talking about how to handle incremental loads with Oracle Data Transforms. Before I move on, let me just introduce myself. My name is Eloy Lopes, so I'm working as a, a data integration specialist, so I cover most of the data integration tools inside of Oracle. We are talking about Oracle Golden Gate, uh, OCI Data Integration, Data Catalog, Oracle Data Integrator, and of course, uh, Data Transforms. So. What we are going to see during the during this session, I don't have a presentation. I just have here a slide uh, to to explain a little bit what you are seeing during the demo. We we are talking about the incremental loads, so we have different ways to uh, to use the incremental loads in in the data transform. So, first in data transforms, we have the, what we call the data loads. Is the name of the component and that as I explained in the previous video. So basically, the data loads is a simple way that you have to load data from source to target. Okay, doesn't require transformation, so on. It's just loaded. And here we have two options. We have the incremental append, as the name suggests. Basically, what it, it does is to is to bring the incrementals, but just as inserts. So it doesn't include in, uh, updates, for example. So in case that you have a primary key and by mistake is bringing in a record that uh, that was updated, but the primary key di didn't change, so it's going to, to fail uh, on the target, right? So that's uh, because just does inserts. Now, also you have the incremental merge that it does inserts and, and updates. Basically, uh, if it's new data, inserts. If it's existing data with some changes, updates the data. Okay, so this what for data loads. After we have the, not the other component that is data flows. Okay, so the, the data flows are components that allow you to create, let's say, more elaborated and complex ETL processes where you can join data, aggregate, uh, add uh, data quality uh, features there, so like data cleansing and, uh, and and so on. So in the data flows, we we are going to to use two modes basically. So the first one is the, the mode incremental update and is very, very similar or almost the same as the incremental merge. Okay, so again, basically what it does is if it's new inserts, if it exists, updates the, the data. Okay, and after uh, a different mode that is uh, a little bit more, let's say, complete for if we're talking about uh, enterprise workloads where you want to control uh, the data and you don't want to do full votes every time for, for the incrementals that is using a kind of control table. Okay, so I have here a control table and a view based on that table and I'm going to explain how you can use it. Again, it's just a simple example. So, of course, for production environments, it required more, more analysis. Here, the main goal is to show you the different options and how you can use the, the data transforms when you have these, uh, uh, these challenges or these requirements. Okay, so for it's not my intention here to tell you that you should go with uh, one approach or the different one i'm just showing the different options okay after it's always your your decision so uh let's just move on to uh, to the demonstration let me just show you here so here's the oracle uh, cloud homepage. now to find the the oracle data transforms you need to go to uh, oracle tom's database that you see here okay now I have his CPRO, I'm just picking the one that I'm currently using. This is the one. And uh, you go here to the database actions and now here under data studio, you have the data transforms. Also you have a lot of other options that I invite you to explore. And even you, you can check other Oracle videos where we talk about this. Uh, in this case, we are talking about uh, data transforms. I was just going to open it. And now, as I was saying, we are going to start by the part of data loads. So if we go back here to the presentation, we are going to explore now this part, okay? So I have here already a project created. Again, since uh, I have already delivered a session for the basic uh, stuff about data transforms, I'm not going to explain here everything. Again, if, you, if it's your first time with data transforms, please check the, the other video. Now, here on the data loads, 
you, you can see here that you have an option to to create a data lot. So I'm going to create one, and after I'm going to show another one that is already uh, prepared. Okay, so you just need to click here on uh, data load. And now again, you just need to define, for example, data load, example, merge. Okay, I'm going to show, the, for example, the merge, how it works. Here, the connection type is Oracle. Now I'm going to pick the, the source, it is uh, Autonomous Database. After, I'm going to show you also the uh, the source and the target and the records and what are the records that I'm going to insert and so on. So here the scheme is admin. Now we are going to configure the target uh, connection. Again, it's an Oracle connection. Here is a different database. And now the schema also is a different schema. Okay, we click save and we just need to wait uh, some, some seconds. Now here is loading all the tables that I have on my source. Okay, so in this case, I, I want to to use this table, the customers underscore DT, okay? Uh, and here you see we have a target action. Now here under target action, you have different options. Again, today I'm just going to talk about uh, the incremental, right? So you have the incremental merge and the app and I already explained them. Now I'm going to show an example for the incremental merge. So here you click on incremental merge and now you have to, you need to uh, to to fill out here two uh, two options. The first one is the incremental column. So this one basically you are saying what is the column that is going to be used to filter the data uh, on source. In this case, I'm using the test ID, but again, this could be for example a date, could be something different. Okay, and uh, the merge key. The again, this is for uh, after for for the condition of the merge is going to be uh, using the, the test ID in my case, okay? After I'm going to show you the code as well. And that's it. Uh, you just need to, to check if everything is valid. I just need to save it. And now before I run the process, let me just show you the source and the target, okay? So I have here the source. And the source, it has these records, okay? And now I have here the target it has the same amount of records. So now what I'm going to do it, I'm going to insert one record, okay, that I have here. Let me just run it. And now I should have here one more record, of course, is this one new record data flow and here I don't have it uh, on target, of course, okay? So now what I expect is that after I, sorry, after I run this, I. I will have the, that record uh, on, on my target. So let me just run the this example. Okay, it's already running. Let me just refresh here. So let me just navigate to the to the job, and let me just check what is doing. So the first time. Basically, is checking if the table exists as already uh, already. So. Is going to let me just check it. Yeah. Okay. So for the ones that uh, are familiarized with uh, ODI, basically what is doing here is the reverse engineer for for some tables. Okay, that are used in the data load. So we just need to to, to wait some seconds to to see if this part is done. So basically, it's just in case that doesn't doesn't have the table. Uh, on ODI, on data transforms, I mean, it's going to bring it, okay? In this case, uh, it's the first time that I'm running this, that's why it's doing this. Uh, so it should be almost there to the step that I want to show you. Okay, so now if I go to this one, yeah, now we should be able to see, yeah. So here basically are the main steps that I want to show you. Here, you see the first, uh, here the first, it tried to create the target table, but it already exists, okay? So it doesn't fail, just ignores. And now here on the insert new new roles, basically what it's doing is to is to do a select on the on the source. And after does the 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 insert. Okay. So here as we are talking about a merge, so basically now what it does. 
you see here we have the condition for test ID, okay? And uh, and after if does if doesn't match inserts, if it match updates, okay? So here, if I go to the target now, I should have here the new record. You see it? It's, it's there. So uh, sorry, let me just close this tab. So this works pretty well, but here. Uh, for example, something that uh, some customers can, can argue is that, okay, but is bringing all the records that I have in that table and I, I don't want to, to have that. So yeah, it, it brings just, in the end, it just does the, the incremental, it, it, I have the record, but it's, it's picking all the data. So for that, we have a different way to do it. Okay. And uh, we are going to explore with data flows. But before I move to that part, let me just show you here another way. So if I go here to projects, cloud coaching, and here just just to show you, I have also the appen that is basically the other option. I'm not going to running it just to, to to show you how it works. Now if I search, so you see here basically you just need to to pick the append and for the append it does it just requires the incremental column okay so the column that is going to check to see if if it has more data or not so basically what it does after is a max of this of this uh, column and uh, uses as a as a filter okay so here are these two options so if i go back uh, to the presentation you see uh, this is the last option that i explained and this was the one that uh, I run it and you saw that how how it works. Now what we are going to do it, we, we are going to uh, to use here the part of the of the data flows. Okay. Actually I'm going to do both in just one unique data flow just to, to show you how how this works, but after I explain you the, the differences, okay? So now if I go to to data flows, let me just create here a data flow. Incremental. Again, it will be something uh, very simple uh, because the, the main goal is that this session is easy to, to follow and to and to not uh, complicate a lot here. So let me just wait uh, some seconds. This is uh, just it's kind of loading. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm going to do it, I'm going to to use as a source. Uh, here, so this is my, this is one, if you see, this is one, uh, one database and this one is a different one. Okay. So I'm working again with different databases, but with the same tables. Okay. So this, this one is going to be my source. And uh, let's suppose that I want to, to vote the data from this one to this one. I could easily, uh, so just drag and drop the, uh, the, the target. Okay. Connect them. And after here, so you click on the target, after here on options, you have the mode, okay? So, and you can change to incremental update. And again, what is going to do it is to, to do inserts or updates, okay? So inserts for new data, updates for, uh, for existing data. But since we don't want to bring the, all, the, all the data from the source, what we are going to do it is to introduce this a control table in order to filter out the data that we, we don't need basically. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, it, let me just remove this. And now I'm going to add here a filter. Okay. And I'm connecting the source with this filter. And before I move on, let me just explain here what, what I have. So as I was explaining, I have a control table. So this is the, the, the control table that, uh, that I have it's, it's here. Okay, so let me just uh, let me just show you. Is this one the control extractions? Okay, and this this table is quite simple. I just have four columns. Doesn't mean that I need to follow to, to use all of them, but it's just prepared for other type of uh, use cases. And these four columns. So one is the extraction name that can be the the table name. After the parameter name, in case that we are working with parameters. In this case, this one I'm not going to use it. I'm using the parameter value to save the value uh, of the of the last record that uh, has been inserted. And after the DT insert, it's just a kind of flag 
of the of the last time that I run the process in order that I, I know that, for example, if I, if I have today, uh, that is the 20, uh, 23 of August, if I put that, so that means that I, I run my process today and I, the last record is suppose, let's say the ID 5,000. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to, to filter from, from that 5,000, uh, value onwards. Okay. So what I'm going to do it is just to show you here. But I have it. So by default, uh, these kind of prepare it in case that you that you run for the first time. So if I run this for the first time, what is going to do it is to is to try to filter for for all the in this case custom IDs that are greater than minus one. So in the end, it's going to to load all the all the data again. Okay. So and I'm going to do it just to show you. Okay. And after we we are going to run a different process. So before. Uh, but before I move on, let me just show you also a view. So I have that that uh, uh, that table, and after I have a view on top of that table, that let me just show here that basically what I do is to to pick the max value of the record, okay, and the the max date, okay? because I don't. If you run this every day, you are going to keeping. Uh, all the history of the of the execution, so I I want to pick always the latest one, so I don't want to to duplicate data. So and I use this uh, control extractions view to filter on the data flow. So now, if I go here to the uh, to the filter, what I'm going to do it is to say I want to bring all new customer IDs. Okay, so and here let me just copy the. Uh, the entire filter because I don't want to, to have any any typo. Okay. So what I'm saying is that bring me all the uh, uh, filter for the customer ID greater uh, than the last value. So the last customer ID that I have here on my view. Okay. As I was explaining right now is minus one. So this is what is going to do it. Let me just is basically again to to load uh, uh, not to load but. Uh, to read all the data and, the, and after just to load the record that I'm going to add. So if I add here my target, so this is my target. And again, if I put here the mode to incremental update, this should be fine. So let me just check if, if it's okay. And it is okay. So. Before I run this, again, if I go to, to my source, I have this 53 and I, wait, sorry. And I have this also 4853. Okay, so what I'm going to do it is to add a second record that I have here on source. So by, and after running this, I should have the record there. So let me just uh, run. Okay, so let me just check the the job. Okay, and here I see a, an error. Let me just check. And uh, it's complaining about uh, missing expression. So let me just check if I can find if I can spot the uh, the error. Okay, so here on the merge query I don't have the condition, so uh, I missed that part. Let me just check it and fix the, the issue okay so let me just uh, do it here on the options mode i need to to ask here on the attributes i need to say that this one is the key okay and now i save and since I had the, this uh, this small issue, something that uh, is nice to uh, is uh, nice to have is here this option that is a kind of simulation mode. So now I, what I can do it is before I run, I can check the code. So just to to make sure that now it, it, it's fixed. Okay. So basically, it's very transparent. You can see all the steps that uh, that is going to to run before you run it. Okay. It's quite uh, it's quite handy. So here you see, it's going to do the create table, the select from 
uh, from the source and it was failing here on the merge so merge using and you see previously this was missing and now it's here so i can run again okay so let me just run again okay and now let's check and now hopefully now i don't have any error okay so it's running and again my exp what i'm expecting is that so is again reading all the data and i'm expecting that but uh, we are going to do to, to do it in a different way in the next step. But before we move to that step, let me just show you. Now here the target, we should have uh, one more record. Yeah, uh, this one. Okay, so the record is here and is exactly the same as this one. So now, how we can do it is, uh, so first in the better way, okay? So actually, so just to, to remind you, this just voted the entire uh, table because here on on this uh, on this view, okay, we just have this record, okay. So now the the main goal is to have a process that also updates this this record, right? This I mean updates this table. So it's what we are going to do it now. So instead of having something that is manual, uh, now. What I'm going to do it is so how you can put this in a workflow, and after updates that uh, uh, that that table, okay, that control table. So now I'm going to, again here to cloud coaching workflows, and now I'm going to create here a workflow, okay. And this workflow, what is going to contain, is basically so every time that we are going to to run this data flow that is incremental after this so after uh, loading the uh, the the data we are going to update the the control table and it's going to be as simple as just put here uh, an sql okay so what i'm going to do it let me just expand this so in this case where i have the the control table that is in this connection and now what I'm going to do it is just to put here an insert, okay? And this uh, insert, what it contains is basically uh, insert in the control extraction, that is the table, and do it by running this select. So this select is saying for this table, so these are coded, but could be changed, and insert the last customer ID and put the file that I was saying, so from today, okay? So every time that I, that I run this is going to put that back for, for, for the creation date, okay? So, and that's it. Now I just need to save it, okay? And now if I don't, I'm going to do two tests. So the first one, I'm just going to, to run this again without doing any insert. And what is going to do it is just to update this, uh, this table, okay? With the last record that should be this one, okay? So let me just run this. Okay. So should be almost there, okay. Again, it basically read all the records because it, it was still used the minus one. Okay, so and here if you see the last step is the insert. So now if I go here, now I have here, you see. 4854, that is this one. Now let's do another test. And this is the, the last one. So if I go to projects, cloud coaching, again, workflows, I don't need to change this, okay? Now, the only thing that I, I, I need to do it is to add another record, okay? So I'm going to add this third record. That is the 55. Okay, now, if I run this again, my expectation is first just to read one unique uh, record and then update again the control table. And that's it. So it read the, the record. Now it's doing the, the merge. Also, it just 
instead one record and here again also uh, just one record so now if if we go to the to the target i should see here the 55 yeah here the 55 and now if i go here to the you see now we have the uh, the 55 here as a as a new record and again now if i if i uh, run this again and if i put more records it's going to to always to pick randomly randomly sorry uh, automatically i mean uh, here the uh, the last value so it is another way that we have to to control the uh, the incremental so just to to recap basically we've seen first uh, how to do it with data loads and and here just basically you define what is the uh, the key for uh, for that, those do data loads but it's always to read all the data and after we've seen how to use data flows and put a control table in order to to control let's say the damage and not to uh, to read the entire table and just the part that we want that is the new data okay so in case that you have any doubt related with the content just uh, reach out to us we have here the links for slack channel and the email so i hope that you have enjoyed this this video i hope to see you soon thank you bye bye